Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is one of the most memorable movies I've ever seen. Something about the dorky Scott and his off-the-wall clusterfuck of randomness adventure really immersed me. But what does this have to do with anime? Fooly Cooly is the Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of anime, a crazy romance and action-driven show that's even more abstract given the creative liberties of animation. So, should you watch it? Well, let's get into it. The story follows a young edgelord named Nauta, this high school girl named Mamimi who's obsessed with Nauta's older brother, and this alien cat girl named Haruko. Their lives intertwine after Haruko runs over Nauta with her motorcycle and beats the shit out of him with her guitar because... I, I, I don't fucking know. A anime? Well, this gives him a mysterious brain disease called Fooly Cooly that causes robots to explode out of his cranium, which is always followed by some surprisingly well-animated fight scenes given the anime aired in 2000. Meanwhile, there's this random, ominous machine that suddenly appeared in the middle of town that has some significance to Haruko, and as the show progresses, you gradually learn why. Underneath the entertaining craziness, the main characters all struggle with real things, like bullying, loneliness, the pains of adolescent love, and the complexity of love itself. You go into Fooly Cooly for the craziness, and you leave with so much more. It really left an impression on me. Unlike all the trope-heavy, regurgitated garbo that circulates the anime medium, it's extremely unique, and portrays the issues of adolescence with the over-the-top, imaginative weight adolescent minds project onto their own issues. Its fast-paced storytelling and unbelievably creative presentation has caused it to withstand the test of time as a cult classic. Wait a minute. Is that a fucking South Park reference? Oh yeah. I like that. Oh yeah. The soundtrack slaps harder than a chancleta on my young Latino prepubescent ass. It's exclusively produced by the Japanese alternative punk rock group The Pillows, and their music really did the show justice. Now to kick an ass with some sick guitar in the background is so ingrained in my memory, and oftentimes I listen to the soundtrack in my spare time. That's just how good it is. The atmospheric, vibey guitar is really soothing, almost like resting your head on some pillows. <laughs> oh fucking hell, that was terrible. Like I said earlier, the fights look really smooth for an older anime but it is still an older anime. It doesn't have the crisp, colorful presentation more modern animes do, but if you can get past that, the art is still really good for its time. The show has sudden abstract segments that really highlight the wild, over-the-top story it is. The characters go from normal, to expressive, to normal, to robot, to boner on forehead, back to normal. But yeah, the animation is solid. Fooly Cooly is followed by two additional seasons, Fooly Cooly Progressive and Alternative. They feature different sets of characters, and while the bizarre nature of the show is still there, it's just not the same. I'm currently watching Alternative, and while it's enjoyable, the show feels slightly more serious than its predecessor. I'm not saying these seasons are bad, but if you only want the constant off-the-wall antics, you may want to stop your Fooly Cooly journey after Season 1. Well, if you couldn't tell by now, I think Fooly Cooly is a hidden gem. If you're out of things to watch, or just want to broaden your horizons, Fooly Cooly is just the right anime to pick up. Hope you enjoy it. See you later.